In this video, you will learn how to set up Ansible Semaphore to run your playbooks. First, we need the Semaphore user to be an admin user for all the servers. We can manually do that, but it's better if we create a playbook for that. Create a role inside the roles directory using Ansible Galaxy in it. Then create the tasks by editing the main.yml file. I use the user module to create the users and loop a list of users. Also, I use the authorize key module to add the keys of the users. Then, I added the users to the sudoers file. Let's now save and exit. Next, create the list of users in main.yml in the vars directory. I added my username and the semaphore user. Change the semaphore user to create the SSH keys. To create the SSH keys, use SSH keygen. And I recommend to create a key dedicated for Ansible use. After that, we can exit from this user. Now we create a directory for the public keys inside the files directory. Then copy the semaphore public key. Also, I want to add my own keys to this. After creating the Ansible role structure for adding users, I need a playbook file that will deploy the role to the hosts. I will create my playbook. I will name it create admin user .yml under playbooks slash users directory. Here, I use the import role module to load the tasks from the create admin user role. The playbook for adding admin users is now ready. But before running the playbook, I need to change some Ansible settings. I need to change the roles path. Also disable the host key checking. Make sure the private key is using the key for Ansible purposes. For some reason, I got this error when running Ansible. To fix this, I need to install SSH pass in the controller node. Now, we can run the playbook. Take note of the hyphen B K K options at the end of the command. Now that the user has been set up, we can proceed with the semaphore setup using the web UI. Use the username created during installation to sign in. The web console should be shown after authentication. The initial step required is to create a project. For this video, I'll create a project named Infrastructure. The next step is to create the key. Click on Key Store in the left menu. Then click on New Key. Input your desired key name. Then select SSH Key Type. Get the private key of the Semaphore user. and paste it here. And click on Create. Now log in to your Git repository. I'm using GitHub. Go to Profile, then Settings. On the left menu. Click on SSH and GPG keys. Then new SSH key. 
Input the title for your key. Copy and paste the public key of your user in the key text box. Then, click on Add SSH key. Next, add the public key of the Semaphore user with the same procedure. Copy and paste public key of Semaphore user to the key text box. We're now going to add an Ansible repository. Go back to your profile homepage and click on the Repositories tab. Click on New to create new repository. Put Ansible as repository name. Leave everything else default and click Create Repository. Now go back to Semaphore UI and go to Repositories. Click on New Repository. This repository should be called GitHub. For the URL or path, go back to GitHub and copy the SSH path. The branch is main, and the access key is semaphore. Now go to Environment. Click on New Environment. Call it whatever you want, but I'll call it my test environment. For the variables, I'll leave it blank for now. Click on Save. Next, Create Inventory. This is for my test environment, so I'm going to put my test inventory here. Then click Create. Now create the task template. Click on New Template. I'm going to create a template for the update system playbook that I created in my previous video. I think I'm going to need this in the future, so I'm going to enable it. Next is to push my Ansible scripts to the GitHub repository I created earlier. First, I need to configure my git settings with the git config command. Then I initialize. Also, I need to specify my custom SSH private key file. Then I can go ahead with the git add commit push sequence. Go back to the Semaphore UI and run the template.
As you can see, the template ran successfully, and my servers got updated. Let's try to create a template for the create admin user playbook I created at the start of this video. As you can see, the template also ran successfully. Nothing changed because I already ran it earlier in this video. That's all for now.